I'm going to discuss some of the economic news released earlier today, October 30, 2024. The reports confirm once again that the U.S. economy continues in a growth mode. Those reports do not reflect America as a failing nation that can only be saved by the chosen one which is a fiction advanced by Trump to further his pursuit of political power and to increase his wealth as well. In the first estimate of third quarter GDP, the government reported that real GDP growth in the third quarter increased by 2.8%. This is the first uh, estimate of, of the GDP uh, for the third quarter. Uh, real GDP is adjusted for inflation, so the uh, nominal the nominal growth is uh, higher than that 2.8% number. Personal consumption expenditures, consumer spending increased by 3.8%, which is uh, historically a robust number. ADP, a payroll company, reported that private sector added 233,000 jobs in October, uh, higher than expected. Annual pay increased by 4.6% over the 12 months ending in October. The S&P CoreLogic National Home Price Index increased by 4.2% over the 12-month period ending in August 2024. There is a lag in gathering that information. Musk uh, says that Trump will cut uh, $2 trillion from the budget deficit, uh, but neither Trump nor Musk identify what programs will be eliminated altogether or slashed to meet that goal, other than Trump's proposal to eliminate the Department of Education. If Trump and Musk identified those programs, Trump would lose in a landslide. Musk acknowledged that the cuts will cause a stock market uh, crash, hardship, and turmoil, which will not impact him or Trump, of course, but claims that all of them, uh, all of those uh, negative results will be temporary. I have previously argued that cutting the budget deficit for fiscal years ending September 2026 and September 2027, governments on a fiscal year, by one half would trigger a recession. The deficit for fiscal 2025 is already set with existing spending and could not be changed much, irrespective of who becomes president in January 2025. An article in the Washington Post today noted that companies are already preparing for price hikes in the event Trump wins and increases tariffs, as he proposes to do. In the fictional world that an alternate Aurelian world that Trump creates, uh, uh, tariffs are paid by foreign countries. He knows that tariffs are paid by the U.S. importer of foreign, foreign products and that tariff increases will be passed on to the U.S. consumers. The increase in tariffs that he's proposing is equivalent to a national sales tax. Trump, Trump's plan to deport 11 million undocumented immigrants will increase inflation as well, primarily through major supply chain disruptions and will hurt GDP growth by lowering consumer spending. Those uh, uh, undocumented immigrants are consumers. Social Security and sales tax revenues for state and local governments would decline as well. Nothing seems to ever be mentioned by Musk and Trump and, and the rest of them about the negative and economic consequences that will inevitably flow from Trump's tariffs uh, increases and mass deportation plans.